in our mind We examine what's not Man, we game at a time We the game examiner We the game examiner We the game examiner We the game examiner Bioshock Infinite is a first-person shooter developed by Irrational Games and published by 2K. It was released worldwide on the PC, PS3, and the Xbox in March 2013. Bioshock Infinite is the third installment in the Bioshock series, and although it is not part of the storyline of previous Bioshock games, it does feature similar gameplay, concepts, and themes. The game's concept and setting were developed by Irrational's creative lead, Ken Levine, who took inspiration from both historical events at the turn of the 20th century, as well as more recent ones. My name is DeWitt. I'm a friend. I come to get you out get of here. Get away! <gasps> the game takes place in an airborne city of Columbia in 1912, where you play the role of Booker DeWitt, a disgraced Pinkerton agent. Booker has been given the job of finding a woman named Elizabeth, who has been confined by a hulking beast called Songbird. Booker's presence in Columbia goes unnoticed until a citizen identifies the letters AD branded on Booker's hand, a sign of the false shepherd, which Comstock believed would corrupt Elizabeth and be Columbia's downfall. Now a wanted man, Booker fights his way to Mommy Island, where Elizabeth is held, and the two escape. Along the way, Booker is trying to wipe away his debt by bringing Elizabeth to the people that hired him. There is many obstacles and twists and turns in the story, including learning about her powers. Elizabeth has the ability to manipulate tears, but she grows disturbed by the psychological and physiological consequences of manipulating reality on Booker and the other citizens of Columbia. To me, the story is the strongest part of the game. The story is very deep and never leaves you bored for a minute. If you know anything about this game before you play it, you know that there is a big crazy twist and you find yourself waiting for it to come, but it never does until you least expect it. It's a way out! Here. We'll see about that. Who are you? Why did you come here? This way, come on. This tower. <laughs> 
Bioshock Infinite is a first-person shooter with role-playing elements. As Booker, the player moves around Columbia both on foot and by using a grappling hook on a series of railways connecting the buildings called the Skyline. The Skyline is great and entertaining addition to the game. I never had more fun just gliding around the city on the Skyline. You even have controls where you can control your speed and direction while on the Skyline. But my favorite part of the Skyline is how you can shoot while moving. You can even do a special attack where you jump off the Skyline and kill an enemy. You will gain weapons which can be used in numerous ways, including on the Skyline. But one of the few negatives I did have with this game is you're only able to carry two weapons at once. There are a lot of interesting guns in this game, but honestly I didn't have the opportunity to use them all because you only can carry two at a time. Booker gains powers and abilities by using Vigors, the equivalent of Bioshock's plasmids and tonics, and also by wearing gear that is all scattered around Columbia. Vigors grant activated powers such as telekinesis, electricity, manipulation, and animal control. Vigors requires salt, the equivalent of magic points or Bioshock's Eve, for powering their abilities. Vigors upgrade paths that can be purchased from vending machines and alternate fire capabilities. With gear, the player only has four available slots and has to make decisions on which combination of offense and defensive capabilities work for them. Elizabeth's AI might have been a little overrated, but she still was very helpful. She stays out of the battle scavenging the area for ammo, health packs, salt, and other items and tossing them to Booker as needed. She can also use her tear opening powers to aid the player, bringing in weapons, health, salts, environmental features such as a cover or a ledge for higher ground and automated defense units. Only one tear can be opened at a time, making the player decide between the available options to suit your battle. You will need to protect Elizabeth, but you will not need to babysit and handhold her through the game. When I first played this game, I was amazed instantly at how beautiful the graphics were, riding on the boat headed to the lighthouse. Every little detail of Columbia made me get lost in the game and make me feel like I was really there. The storyline kept me interested from beginning to end and kept me on the edge of my seat waiting for the big twist. The story is a true masterpiece and it takes you for a ride of a lifetime. This game is just one more example of why you can't help but be excited about where video games are headed. This is definitely one of the best games I've played this year, and I highly recommend this game to anyone that hasn't played it. Bioshock Infinite, a true masterpiece that will keep you entertained throughout. I give this game a 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10. 10, out of 10.